Julie is about to introduce a handful of customers to one of the world's most expensive dishes. So, le primeur. And this is... It shines. Shiny. Come on. Let's taste. Julie is a former onologist. Three years ago, she discovered caviar and made it her profession. You actually put the spoon in your mouth and press the eggs against the roof of your mouth and let the eggs burst. For 45 euros, she teaches neophytes that caviar should be enjoyed like a fine wine. Different. Eh? Well, that's perfect. That means it fulfills at least its function of firmness. It's often said of caviar that it rolls, that you roll the marbles under the egg. I was under the impression that I was going to eat something very salty. And in fact, what I found was really a texture, first of all, i.e. Uh, I really had the sensation of eating butter with its slightly peculiar flavors. But there was something fine about it that I didn't know at all. Instant pleasure. The question that arises when discussing caviar, its cost. How much does a 50 gram tin cost for the three selections? About, That's about a rough idea. Between 90 and 120 euros for a small 50 gram tin. 50 grams is seven cans, about five spoons, or 1,700 euros a kilo. Another cliche that sticks to black beans is their foreign origins, except that here in Bordeaux, caviar isn't Russian or Iranian, it's Aquitaine. It's the crazy gamble of breeders on the banks of the Gironde. For decades, these large freshwater basins were home to trout and carp. But breeding was unprofitable. They were replaced by the Asipenterberry, a species of sturgeon that has changed very little since prehistoric times. A funny mustachioed fish with a pointed nose whose eggs are the raw material for caviar. They are beautiful. They're good, they're good. Philippe Benoit runs the farm. For the first few years, he groped his way to harvest mature eggs. That all changed when he came up with the idea of using a device familiar to expectant mothers, the ultrasound scanner. The fish are first put to sleep in this tank with carbon dioxide. I can see that the fish's belly is full of eggs. As I can see that the fish's belly is full of eggs, I'm going to take an ultrasound sample. When the eggs are numerous enough, Felipe takes a biopsy. I'm looking at about five eggs the size I have. So it's going to be 30, which means nice caviar. Then I roll it between my fingers to see firmness. And finally, I taste good taste. Good size, caviar fish. It takes seven to eight years for a female to produce eggs. Clearly, this fish isn't ready for a start. Its belly is flat. And with the ultrasound scanner, we check that there are indeed eggs, but they're very small. We'll have to wait a couple of years before we can produce terriers with this fish. This sturgeon has just won a reprieve. The others will die to deliver their treasures. If we don't know where to put it, 8% of the world's caviar is produced in this small, unassuming laboratory. It all starts with the slaughter. The sturgeons are killed with a blow to the head before being cut open to find out exactly what's inside. The eggs are clearly visible. They're a good size. That's it, we can remove them. The eggs are contained in a pouch, the row. It can weigh up to a kilo or 10% of the fish's weight. But every grain counts. We make sure there are none left. The eggs of different fish are sorted according to size and color, from golden dead to charcoal gray to obtain homogeneous batches, all done by hand. Then comes the serving stage. The firmness of the eggs is a guarantee of quality. At this stage, a simple ingredient is missing, salt. 
Now I'm going to make caviar. We've got eggs, we've got salt, but we haven't got caviar yet. The caviar will appear in a few minutes. It took Jean-Baptiste 10 years of practice to master the brewing process. We have a few clues, whether visual, tactile, what we feel at our fingertips, even sound, the noise the eggs make as they roll over each other, which tell us that it's good, that we've got a quality product. There are 10,000 euros worth of eggs in this tub. Badly stirred, the eggs spoil and the caviar is ruined. For a few months, the black pearls continue to refine. In these hermetically sealed tins, placed in a cold room resembling a safe, only Jean-Baptiste has access. This area is a bit like Four Knox. There's just about everything there is in the way of detection systems. I won't go into detail. A lot of security on this fridge. It's worth a few million euros. 60% of this production will go abroad. The rest will be sold in delicatessens and, for the less prestigious, on supermarket shelves. In 10 years, this farm has become France's leading producer. But in Aquitaine, the history of caviar goes back much further. Fishermen on the Gironde estuary have always caught the Sturio, a wild sturgeon that swims up the river every spring. A large fish, it could grow to three meters in length and weigh up to 500 kilos. But at the time, fishermen didn't know that they had gold in their hands. They fed the eggs to the ducks until Sunday morning. It became legendary in the 20s. I'll tell you exactly what happened. 94-year-old René Val loves telling this story. He's not quite sure of the date, but he's positive about the place. This is where it happened. All of a sudden, he walks by here, a lady there, and she says, what are you looking at here, ladies and gentlemen? Well, we're looking at a fish we need. The sailor grabs his big knife. The sturgeons are there. He cracks it open, grabs the eggs, crosses the road, and throws them over. But she says, sir, you're committing a crime. And that's when she said she was a Russian princess, and that's what, that's what caviar is made of. Oh! Russian princess, a Romanov, according to legend, gave them the recipe. In their kitchens, all the fishermen, aided by their wives, set about making the precious caviar. The children eat it on toast as a snack. 5,500 francs a kilo is bought at a premium by the great Parisian gourmet houses. The village gains in notoriety. At the Auberge du Commerce, the stars of the day came and went. Daniel Darieux, Jean Gabin sample caviar by the ladleful. It's the fish with the golden eggs, and we catch far too many of them. Yvonne Robert, nicknamed Capitaine, had his heyday. This house belonged to me. It was here, it was this house that I bought. So with the caviar when I got married. Because you've done some good fishing? Yes, very good fishing. 22 females. 100, 146 kilos of caviar. That enabled you to buy the house. Here we are. We bled the fish in this gutter here, you see. And the caviar was made in this gutter. And that's where I paraded the things like that, you see. Captain caught his last resurgence in 1976. Since then, his tools have been gathering dust. Here, you see, is the caviar scoop. And this, you see, is the little, the little cart my grandmother used to sell the fish. We were poor, weren't we? Then caviar put us out of our misery, so to speak. But greedy fishermen abuse the wild sturgeon. In the Gironde estuary, there has been no trace of sturgeon for 30 years. Only two or three specimens remain, carefully preserved in tanks by scientists. All Aquitaine caviar now comes from farmed fish. This has not prevented it from making its way in the finest restaurants. This appetizer is called for here. Let's go quickest, let's get it on, let's go. Philippe Echevest, two-star chef in Saint-Emilion, has put it on his menu. A native of the region, he likes to introduce his customers to local caviar. 
Aurelien, what did you decide to do with the discoveries? Groups? Caviar? His 100 euro tasting menu changes every day, but there's one constant. Caviar. Philippe Echevest dares strange combinations, as here with spaghetti and scallop mousse. I'm going to put the caviar right in the middle. The idea is to have a caviar heart. It's a real surprise dish. In fact, when you cut it, you discover the caviar inside. There really is a nice caviar core. Give me a tin. At the heart of his wrap, 15 grams of Aquitaine caviar, around 20 euros. Philippe Echevest also cooks sturgeon, renowned for its tender, firm flesh. It was the favorite fish of the kings of France. Oh, uh, it's a fish that's been somewhat neglected. People don't particularly like it because of preconceived ideas. Today, however, the techniques involved in caviar production and fish farming are so well mastered that the flesh and quality of the fish are exceptional. Let's go. In the dining room, even if the Enroubané de Saint-Jacques au cœur de caviar has become a benchmark dish, it still retains its air of mystery. What I find really pleasing is to have the surprise of caviar in the middle of a dish, rather than seeing it arrive, in fact. So here you get the surprise of seeing it in the middle of a dish. Aquitaine caviar has found its place between the great classified growths and the fine cuisine of Saint-Emilion. Today it... It would like to rival the best foreign caviars. We are in Armand Petrosian's laboratory. 2,000 square meters in the heart of Paris. A secure secret location. This is where Armand Petrosian selects the world's finest caviars before marketing them. It was his father and uncle who, after fleeing Russia, imported the first caviars into Paris in the 20s. Armin tasted his first eggs at the age of six months. Today, he can tell a good caviar from a bad one in a matter of seconds. This one has a hint of acidity. We're going to eliminate that one. Eliminate, in other words, we're going to put it aside. They won't go into the top of the range selection. And they're not sold under the same brand. No, we don't throw them away, rest assured. Over the last 10 years, he has brought Aquitaine caviar into his laboratory. It's one of the cheapest, 2,000 euros per kilo, compared with 15,000 euros for some Russian belugas. The quality of French caviar has improved considerably over time, but there's still a lot of room for improvement. In other words, we're not at the end of the process, but we're also very young in this business in France compared with the age of other farms or the age of the product in general. We have to learn, be modest, and wait for things to evolve. Aquitaine caviar is not yet on a par with its Russian or Iranian cousins. But it could become the next jewel in the crown of French gastronomy.